September 30th marked the end of the closed season for the hunting of uh, wild animal game species. And as such, um, from the 1st of October, that's tomorrow, to the 31st of December, would uh, be an open period for the hunting of uh, wild animal game species listed for Grenada. Um, in that context, we're looking at the, the wild um, animal game species, uh, the opossum or the manicou, the amadillo, which we call the tattoo. We have the iguana, um, the mona monkey is also hunted, and the ramier, mm -hmm. which is a bird. Um, so these are the four main species that are listed for us as game species for Grenada. Um, so um, there will be an open period for hunting and harvesting of uh, these um, wild animal game species. So um, it's this um, this uh, opening period would be exclusive for Grenada. The Kayaku would be excluded um, because of the the recent um, hurricane um, damages to the the natural vegetation and Kayaku. So this um, open period is um, mainly for the mainland Grenada, and Kayaku would be excluded. Mm -hmm. Also, to note that uh, the Grenada Forest Reserve on Grenada is a no hunting zone. Um, at all times. So hunting in the Granite and Forest Reserve is strictly prohibited. So as I said, for this opening season, you will only be on Grenada. Um, Kayako would be excluded. Yes, um, during that um, open period, um, we ask uh, hunters and persons um, who usually uh, you know, do that type of uh, activity to engage in best practices you know, in the conservation of the species. We want to ensure that there is an opportunity for persons to you know, harvest their favorite um, wildlife species going forward. So we're asking that uh, persons um, practice good, um, good practice you know, in terms of respecting, respecting private property. We know that uh, there is always a tendency for hunters to um, trespass on private property and um, they should re re respect that uh, private landowners have a right to their property. Um, when they might ask where to where can they hunt, there's a lot of areas in Grenada where hunting can, can be practiced. For example, abandoned agriculture areas, feed agriculture, feeder roads, and, and areas that where um, doesn't have any serious agriculture practices happening. Also, we want to protect our farmers because we know at this time of the year, um, we recently faced, had the, the passage of Hurricane Beryl and a lot of farmers are engaged in uh, replanting. And so in the practice of hunting, you might sometimes venture into um, agriculture areas. So it's a, a, a matter of um, respecting um, you know, the agriculture productive sector and to you know, refrain from um, negative you know, impacts from your hunting practices. Also to respect um, util utility lines. Um, sometimes uh, hunters do engage in um, harvesting animals and electric lines and other power lines and they can be and this can endanger their lives as well. So we're asking them to exercise best practices in the you know in in their hunting activity.